All right, YouTube. I want you guys to try to help pinpoint why my fuel pump won't come on. I got the Walbro 255 pump. I'm just checking it out. It got fire here, as you can see. Let me see if I can do it without it and get the light to come on. See the test light. See the light is on. As you can see, the light. See? The light is on. There's some type of fire through there. It's not bright. It's some type of fire in that wire. I guess that's the hot wire. So, I'm going to plug it up and show you that it's not coming on. Plugged up. Pump ain't on. I mean, I got the red wire hooked to the red on the pump. Got the black wire hooked up to the black. And it's not coming on. Uh, I don't know why it's not coming on. All right, YouTube. As you can see, I got the key on. The key is on. Let's go back here. Go back here. And there's nothing on. Now, the key is on. I'm going to move the float. That's a full tank of gas. And in the car, it's showing a full tank of gas. So, that wire back there is working, but... It's not cutting on the pump. I had it in the tank. It's still not cutting on the pump. So, man, y'all tell me what it could be. I mean, I'm not sure. This is a new sending unit, a new pump, but it's not coming on. So, can I run this red wire all the way up to the front to ignition or something? But um, uh, I really don't know what to do from here. I had to have somebody come wire it or something, but I really don't know. So, if y'all can uh, pinpoint why, let me know. I just got a piece of rubber on here because it was cut. So, I wanted to tape it up the best I can. Being red wire, hooked up to this red wire, ground to the ground. I mean, I have no idea. Y'all let me know something. By the way, I'm just fi I just got the wiring harness fired up, grounded, and got the battery on. Uh, maybe it's because the computer is not hooked up or what, but I don't know why it won't come on. So that's gonna uh, slow me down. So not knowing exactly what to do because I don't know.